Welcome everyone! In today's video, I'm sharing a nice, cozy autumn art project, which is pumpkin painting. My kiddo and I paint pumpkins together every year. It's a super fun seasonal tradition, and it's simple, it's pretty inexpensive, and it just brings such festive fall vibes. Here's what you'll need to get started. Some dry erase markers, brushes, palette, and rinse water, some acrylic craft paint, and then some kind of pen or paint marker for any line work. I also grabbed a bottle of black acrylic ink because I was out of black acrylic paint, which I didn't realize, but it actually worked great. We always give our pumpkins a good wipe down just with a damp cloth before we start to make sure we have a nice fresh surface to work on because sometimes there's, you know, dirt and bits on the, the pumpkin just from being outside. And we start by sketching the designs on the pumpkins with a dry erase marker. This is the perfect tool to use for it because it literally wipes right off if you make a mistake. And once it dries down, if you want to change something, you can just use a damp paper towel or a damp cotton swab to wipe it right off then, and it's super simple. I also recommend using tools if you have them to help draw on your design. So I use like a round glass Tupperware to help draw the circle for my moon shape. Just utilize things you have to get your design on your pumpkin. And the design itself can be anything you want, as simple or complex as you feel like dealing with. Mine was one that I had sketched up in my sketchbook, actually. You can see it in my sketchbook tour video. And my daughter kind of used ones I had created as inspiration to make her own, which was super fun. Once the design was all drawn on, I used a paper towel to try and wipe away a bit of the dry erase marker, kind of to try and lighten it some. To be honest, that didn't really work too well, but it did give it a cool speckly texture that I liked, so I decided to give the whole thing a gentle wipe and create that texture for under the painting. it's time to paint. Like I said earlier, for this we just use acrylic craft paint. It's super inexpensive, like legitimately around a dollar per bottle of paint I'd say, and it works great on the pumpkin surface. If you are looking to lay down opaque color, you're going to need to work in layers because at least all the colors I have are quite translucent, but it does build up in layers really well. We also propped our pumpkins up on bowls. This makes them easier to rotate and to paint on without needing to balance them on their sides or try to or hold on to them too much while you paint. It just makes the whole process much easier. And like at the beginning I mentioned I was using black acrylic ink instead of acrylic paint because I was all out and didn't realize that when I started. The ink does work quite well on the pumpkin. I would just say if you're using inks on the pumpkin, don't use too much at once. It will run if you, you know, have too much on the surface because it's quite liquidy in compared to actual acrylic paint. But I really like the texture that the acrylic ink dries with. It's a bit speckly and crackly and it really kind of fits the cottage goth vibes that I was going for. And I did use some white gesso when I'm painting the moon phases on the big moon motif. And I only use the gesso because it's more opaque than the acrylic that I have. And therefore I didn't have to do more than two layers, which was nice. paint pumpkins as opposed to carve them since I feel like carving is a little bit more of the typical activity for pumpkins. It's actually one of my favorite stories about my child. So when she was almost three we went to carve pumpkins together for the first time 
and when we brought out the knife, she kind of freaked out and started hugging her pumpkin, saying that we can't hurt it, we can't hurt it. It was the most precious thing I have ever seen. So I came up with the idea of painting the pumpkins instead, like we were putting it in a costume, and she adored that prospect. So we've been doing that ever since. As she got older, there was one year where she chose to try and carve them, but she liked painting better, which I'm totally okay with. To me, it's a lot less work, it's less messy, and it lasts longer. Art projects have an ugly stage where you question everything you're doing, you're pretty sure you've ruined it, and yeah, the base layers of this painting process are absolutely that stage on this project. <laughs> it is very much a case of trust the process though, because at this point it's looking really rough, but I swear it cleans up nicely. With the base layers fully dried down, it's time to go in with line work to get that cleanup going and make everything pop. I used a black Posca paint pen for mine, which worked really well. My kiddo was actually having trouble with the Posca pen kind of removing paint on her pumpkin because she'd put on her paint quite a bit thicker than I did, but instead she used a Micron felt tip liner pen and that worked perfectly for her. Remember, you can always test out materials in little swatches on the bottom of your pumpkin in case you're not sure if something will work well. Nobody will see it when it's done and that way you don't go in and potentially ruin what you're working on. A quick note about preserving the painting on your pumpkins. I gave these a spray with clear varnish when they were done. Basically, it just gives them a bit of weatherproofing in case of rain or snow where we live. Since these are going to be displayed outside in our case, we keep them on our front stoop. Something I definitely want to mention though is do not compost your pumpkins if they have paint and varnish on them. That is nothing you want to add into your compost mix. So you can either cut off the parts that have the paint or varnish if you really still want to compost them, or you can just ditch the whole pumpkin instead of adding it into your pile. But yeah, do not add painted or varnished pumpkins into your compost. Here they are! I really enjoy our pumpkins this year. It makes me smile to see them out on the stoop each day, bringing just a little bit of festive joy around for the season. Do you paint or carve pumpkins at all? Let me know in the comments because I'd love to see any that you've created. Thank you so much for watching today. Please do subscribe to the channel if you like what you see around here. A big thank you to my patrons as well for your continued support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to check out my Patreon and what that has to offer. Take care, my friends. I hope you're enjoying the autumn season so far. Be well. Until next time.